Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about networks and weird hokey offers that you can get on from your YouTube channel. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I got an offer in my email, my, my YouTube email, offering to purchase, offering to make a small investment in the advertising of my videos. And, um... It all sounded so hokey and it's like, is this a sponsorship or are they wanting to advertise with me or what are they doing? And so I, I wrote back to him and what they actually, in the end, after several conversations where I was just, I wasn't interested in what they were offering, but I was intrigued to try and figure out what it is they really wanted. And in the end, what it was is they were offering a one-time buyout in which they purchased the advertising rights to your Google AdSense. So they wanted to offer me a few hundred dollars for the Google AdSense rights on my top nine videos. And if you were new to YouTube and somebody offered you a few hundred dollars for the rights to a certain video, you might be tempted or mostly you probably just wouldn't understand what they were saying. They weren't, uh, they were not trying to purchase advertising rights to put their ads on. They were just wanting to purchase your advertising rights. So all the money that came in on Google AdSense would then belong to them for the rest of eternity for a one-time buyout of a few hundred dollars. So when something like this happens, know that whatever they're offering you, what you have is worth more than that because they're trying to purchase something from you for pennies um, compared to what it has the potential to make. So something like that, an offer like that should be encouraging to you to mean that there are big guys out there that really want your content. So watch for that kind of thing in the mail in your email and don't join a network they do the same thing they the way that they make their money is to catch lots and lots of little channels that aren't making a whole lot and they make pennies off of you but because they have so many people that they've done this to they make big money and they don't really give you very much back um, anything that that a network can do for you you can do for yourself they, they really don't give you much so avoid networks and watch out for those people who come in and, and want to buy any part of your work. Um, the NRA did that to us um, a few months ago in that they came in and they wanted to use some of our content um, of Kaya at the range with John with one of her, her first shooting sessions. And what they wanted was they wanted all rights and licensing to our video to be able to use it in any of their marketing schemes and we would have absolutely no rights to that video anymore. And they weren't going to give us credit for it being our video. They weren't going to say who made it or our channel. They weren't going to pay us for it in any way. And so there's a lot of people out there that will use their celebrity status when they see that you have something good. And they will try to con you out of it. Um, for instance, NRA, we, we belong in, believe in gun rights. And so it was really exciting to have the NRA approach us. But the fact that they didn't give anything back and that they wanted complete control. We told them they could use the video, but they wanted complete 100% control over what happened with that video. And we were like, we're not willing to do that. We don't want something that has our little girl on it to be in the hands of strangers, even if it is an organization mm -hmm. that we admire. And so watch for those kind of things. Don't get discouraged if somebody wants to pay you for something that you're creating. It means it's worth a lot more than what they're offering. So we'll talk to you later.